Passive disease immunity, blight resistance, and all resistances. That's not bad to at least have. We'll do that. Um, relentless Fury we want to do. And let's... Honestly, I feel like my dex is getting a little further behind than I'd like it to. Yep, that's good. So this can actually... That, that doesn't need to be... These these are like I guess that is an activated one. That should go over there. This is sustained, and then uh this one's actually sustained. It doesn't need to be there. Uh which means I can move that guy there. And move this guy. Okay. Neat O. Rattlesnake off screen. I hate those things. Uh, reach out. I sought to reach out and touch the abyss, but I found it touched me first. I've been blessed. I've been fully awoken. There is a wonder here, a wonder beyond all else I've ever seen. A crystal of amazing intricacy and beauty with a halo of power that echoes of the original energies of the spell blaze. All of the power that our ancestors unlocked mixed with the glorious corruption that it triggered. What beauty. What tremendous beauty. I felt it touch me. I felt it reach into my heart and bue me with its strength. I stood entranced as its energy flowed into me. Oh, how the blood now courses through my veins. Blood corrupted with true power. I see now the path that lies before me. The spell blaze was not a curse. It was a blessing. I must open our people's eyes to the glory that our race is unlocked. I shall bring the wonders of this corruption to the whole world. You, sir. Yeah. Show me on the doll where the abyss touched you and made you laugh. Right in the heart. By heart, I mean his peaks. Oh, hello, bear. Please get punched in the face and go away. Pouch of iron shots. Uh, yeah. I do need to do a, a ranged class. Like, something that uses those shot pouches. I don't know if, what I have unlocked. I know I have the, uh... Detrimental status effect. South. Oh. Yeah. Um. I have the ranger. I don't know what other ranged character classes I have. Nowhere left to explore. Okay. Ah. Uh... I don't see anything really worth my time there. Yeah, rogues. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing a rogue. Uh, so we're, uh, we're we're done here, right? Like this whole place is. Uh, we did everything in there. We didn't have a quest for it, and we didn't get a quest for completing it, but. I mean, it's all right. Anything else? Infinity. I can't go south there. I can cross this, but this river of the same size, I can't. Got it. Let's check this place out. Uh, and I'm still gaining XP and money, so. I don't want to get too overconfident. Letter to Wiseman. Oh, this is another one back and forth from Wolf to uh, Wiseman. Sorry to cut your bird watching session short, but I must bring this bad niche to an end. I've tolerated your ridiculous pomposity and false heroics long enough. At first, I took your over <coughs> overinflated tales of bothering local wildlife with good humor, but now I realize with dread that you are sincere. You believe your pathetic wanderings to be the stuff of legend. Well, no more. We shall meet seven days from now in Dirth Town Square. Come prepared for travel. The number of rumors claiming that a monster has taken up residence within the ruins just north of town have grown to the point where they cannot be considered rumors anymore. You shall come with me, face this creature alongside me, and experience intimately the vast difference between your skills and my own. If we're lucky, we'll learn this lesson unscathed, but I fear such a trial may cost you a limmer tool. Prepare yourself if you've the courage. Alright. 
Oh, Mr. Mr. Teleporty guy. How'd that work out for you? Uh, letter, Reloren Camp. We must be on guard. Council of Elders is desperate to find us, to hunt us down, and suppress us. But we will not be suppressed. We have our rights! Their scouts can try to track us down, and their spies try to infiltrate our numbers. We cannot accept any others having power, any voice but their own being heard. Oh, that sounds... Uh, we have split away from our people, and we follow our own path now. We are outcasts. They call us renegades. Anarchists! They think of us as nothing but vermin to be crushed underfoot, but we will not endure their cruel suppression. Our voice will be heard across the world, and I shall recognize a new race of power, the mighty Raloran, the Inquisitor. Apparently there's a dude in here named the Inquisitor. That historically does not have great connotations. Oh. The Elven Mage. The Elven Bitch is more like it. Hop him, do a death dance, and now he is bleeding, and now he is punched in the face, and now he is dead. Bye! Battered remains of a flame imp's hand. It still burns with that unnatural flame. Imp claw. quite a bit of damage actually I mean, this is clearly something from another uh, class because it says you know at level 5 it'll create a beam of flames that's fun for all this rough leather gloves of archery not interested oh yeah smart guy oh I'm out of range Screw you, buddy. Nothing here. Bloodbath. Oh, a very fine hat. Just some gold out in the middle of nowhere. A bear. And a dickhead mage. Bye. Okay, open it. A lot of crap in here. Holy cow. A lot of crap in here. Oh! I just got a little oomph. Well, he used to. Silk current. Now that's not gonna help me. Rough leather boots of tirelessness. Traveler's pair of iron boots of tirelessness. Yeah, they don't give us a 25% speed increase. I'm not interested. <laughs> like that is so great. The black core. What? That's some weird shit, man. Jewelry. <laughs> so this could put us even further uh, into the uh, undead range. Because we're already, we don't die until negative 160. I wonder if it stacks. Hey, Nod, what's going on? Uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, we're making we're making progress. We're on our, still on our same character. We haven't died. Uh, I want to keep this because I want to find out more about that at some point. That's pretty funny. Uh, so current, I have no desire for. Uh, Imp claws fun. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this guy right here, the black core, because it gives us only die when reaching negative 100 life. We already because we drank that weird potion. It already. Uh, Makes us die at negative 160, so I wonder if wearing this would make us die at negative 260. 
Gives us a nice infravision radius, gives us 100% blindness immunity. What are we wearing right now? Minus 4 to fatigue, life regen, plus 2 dex. Let's do it. Oh, that's not a necklace. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it, it did. It, it absolutely boosted it up. <laughs> what a weird character I've created. Yeah, die. Negative 220. <laughs> yeah, you could you could spend a lot of time just kind of scrolling through and just, ah, oh, what's this do? Ah, oh, what's this do? I need to get my stamina regen up. That, that's got to be something I got to keep an eye out for. Because I have noticed a couple of times that stamina has become an issue. Let's grab that, brass lantern, let's charge this mage and punch him in a stupid mage face. And an elven guard. I feel like I should feel bad for killing all these elves. You know, being an elf myself. But then I realized, fuck elves. Oh wait, I'm not playing Dwarf Fortress, is where I literally murder them on sight regardless of why, uh, why they're there. Oh, screw you, buddy. God damn it. I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. There we go. You're already half dead. Goodbye. Black bear to the south. Oh, a couple of them. Huh. Got a skeleton. Former skeleton. Black bear to the south. Couple of them again. Got whoever this dude is. Door seems to be sealed off. Bye. And then, uh, uh, can you do like, uh, I know you can do, um, Jesus Christ, brain. Let's go. Let's get moving here. Um, Summon builds. Thank you. I, would, I wouldn't mind doing like a summoner type thing. I did it with the alchemist and I didn't do very well with it. But I think it's just because I, I didn't uh, I didn't have enough time with it to really figure it out. Uh, there's, there's, there's a little bit of stuff in here. Do that. Let's do uh, death dance. A lot of stuff in here. Nothing good, but a lot of stuff in here. This is a collapsed tower. Okay. Ah! Uh, oh, I get hit by a... Okay. Jam? I like jams. Summon action is full. Oh, right now this this guy's this guy's my speed right now. Like I'm I'm digging this. Uh scintillated caverns must be protected. Great leader is ordered, so oh so the the dude who went crazy down in the scintillating caves founded this over here. Okay. And became the Inquisitor. Oh no, the Inquisitor works for him. Because this is signed by the Inquisitor. Huh? Numbers are few, but it was moved in secrecy, but a quiet watch will be made on the caverns. Any who are seen to interfere will be lured here to our place of strength and brought before me for Inquisition. Far have joined our cause. Their eyes have opened to the injustice our people have suffered. Blamed by the other races for the spell blaze and its effects. They are sick of the cowardice of the council. And sit in silence and we are scorned and hated across the world. But most of all, they are inspired by our great leader and the powers he has gained from studying the Spellblaze. He alone realizes our full potential. He alone can see in our hearts what we are truly capable of. Uh, capable of. He has blessed me, rescued me from a tortured life, and touched me with his power. Gross. Uh, only he can lead our people. With, math, with his mastery of the world, we see our strength to recognize us for the true forth to be reckoned with. Trust in his power and this will bring us all glory. Hey, Mezzanari, what's going on? Welcome on in. Doing a little tome today. 
Now open it up. I'm sure there are things in this uh, particular establishment that require murdering. So these are two of the exact same tower, huh? That's pretty fun. Gold. So we've got uh, two collapsed towers here. Let's check the first one out. Crap all over the place in here. We're doing we're doing pretty well. We haven't died. This is our, our same character we've been playing. We're up to level 16. Absolutely the farthest I've ever made it. Oops, wrong button. Which is shocking with how often you hear me say, oops, wrong button, and then I survive somehow. What are these guys? Are they just skeleton maguses? Oh, we're taking we're taking a little damage. We're taking a little damage. Let's let's not get uh let's not get cocky here. A lot of crap up here. Holy cow. Strange creature seems to melt around your neck, keeping its mouth open just wide enough so its teeth do not touch. You suspect that is the case that you're you suspect that in the case your head somehow goes missing, the creature is going to make its make itself at home in your next stump. Uh, no, I don't think I have. I was in um. Sure, sure tool. Oh, yeah, I went in there and it looked like it was a little bit past uh, my ability to do. Yeah, I was in uh, Dakuria, and one of the people was in here. I was like, "You're in there just a little early. Maybe, maybe you want to consider coming back at a later date." And then um, we were doing okay, but we were. It, it was it, it was a little scary. So we're like, "All right, well, we'll go out and do a couple of the other uh, tier one dungeons that are out there, and uh, you know, maybe level up a little bit." Plus 10 to cunning, minus 5 to will. Eh, try not to die. Eh. Uh, look at all this crap we got just, just here. Cunning and will, neither of which mean anything to me. And there's a lot of other green stuff in here, so... Uh, this can actually get transmogrified. That can get transmog. This stuff can all go, honestly. These don't take up any encumbrance, though. No. Eh, I don't need those. It's another on life. I've been finding so many of those. Okay. Bunch of money. We're up to 918 bucks. I don't know what we do. Whoa, Mr. Bouncy Boy. I don't know what we do with all the money, but uh, we could do something with it. Right, let's check the other tower. Which I assume is going to be much the same. Rod seems to make light die around it. You feel tired just looking at it. Rod of Entropy. The Jolt. Torque feels tingly to the touch, but seems to enhance your thinking. Willpower Amulet. Eh rest up a little bit. Ah, uh, there's a button for rest for a while. There we go. Do a death dance. Take care of that. Let's charge you. So nice. We get anything good we get the rod of entropy 
which, uh... Why would I want this? The Jolt. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you're a uh, lightning spec, you can just doing normal damage can brain lock a target, which would uh, put one of their skills on cooldown. Upon taking damage, your mind fires back, dealing 30% of their. Oh, so it gives you like lightning thorns. That's kind of cool. Like, it's not for my character class, but it's kind of cool. Alright, let's uh, go to the next area. <laughs> Bam! Oh, why can't I move? Whatever, don't don't need to move. You you'll come to me because you're an idiot. Uh, marksman's copper ring. Some stuff in here. <laughs> Dude, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've just popped in on a random streamer. I was like, oh, I haven't seen this game in a while. And then they start playing it, and I'm like, god damn it. I gotta start playing this game again. And then, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I could help. It's a really good game. Like, it's so damn good. I was watching, um... Ooh, I don't I don't remember the guy's name. Uh I followed him earlier today while I was watching him though, so at least I have him as but uh he was playing a game called uh Noita? Noita Noit 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 Yeah, Noita. Um That looks like a really cool roguelike that uh it went on sale today, so it's fifteen bucks right now. It's uh, very much a roguelike, pixel graphics, right up my alley, but it's got a destructible environment. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, so it's, it just went on sale today for the fall sale or winter sale or whatever the hell Steam sale is now because they do a, a new sale every week and I, I don't learn, I don't learn. But yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a really fun game. You have it? All right, cool. Yeah, I, I'll probably pick it up. Because I have no self-control. Acid damage melting everywhere. Yeah, I watched him, like, acid through the, the floor of, like, almost the whole screen. And he was playing with the Twitch integration, too. So we were, uh, we were voting on what the next effects would be. And, you know, all projectiles turn into ducks. <laughs> what the fuck? The, t the Twitch integration actually looks hella fun. Like, I don't know that I want to wanna, would want to play it any other way. <laughs> uh, for too long, we've been taught that the Spellblaze was a tragedy. We're responsible for the deaths of millions and suffering around the world. Yada, yada, yada. Dead people. Uh, these are lies. Lies to spread to defame us, to prevent our people from using magic to its rightful degree. Unless the races are jealous of our powers and our amazing potential, so they think to keep us underfoot, to stop us from ascending to our rightful place in the world. They fear us. Truth is, the Spellblaze was an experiment that went wrong. Many of our greatest mages died from the resulting energies, and some lands nearby were set ablaze. But, you know, they were only lightly singed. Uh, there was no loss of life amongst the other races. It was their own wars that caused that. Oh, yeah, well, that makes it okay, then. Their own squalid societies that brought about the place that followed. Many centuries later, a great natural earthquake occurred that tore the lands apart, and other races had the audacity to blame that on us. Well, I mean... For this reason, they persecuted us during the spell hunt. Many of our mages were killed mercilessly, and even those with no offending to magic were brutally slaughtered in the terrible crusade. Oh my goodness. Even today, we suffer discrimination and persecution, and tales still spread of innocent Shalorn burned at the stake or chopped to pieces. What does the council do? It sits in silence and hopes people will just forget. But no more! The time will come when the truth shall be known. Retribution will fall on any that deny us our rights. I still think you're a little fucking crazy, dude.
Oh my god. I have great news. Our glorious leader has written to me, telling me of his travels. He's on a great pilgrimage and holy quest to discover more of the spell blaze and his powers so that we may see the truth about, uh, speak the truth about it to the world. The quest fraught with peril, for we have many enemies in the world, but by his powers we cannot fail. He cannot. He cannot. One day he shall return to us and bring us a proper glory. Look forward to that great time when he is amongst us once more. Be ready for that moment when he stands tall before us and looks at us with his deep eyes. Work hard now and be attentive to your duties. But we may make him proud. We fight for him. We struggle for him. And if needs, we die for him. He is our hope and our glory. Our only joy we have in this dispassionate world. I feel like 